Barbara Jane Harrison Barbara Jane Harrison, G.C. 24 May 1945, 8 April 1968, known as Jane Harrison, was a British flight attendant, one of four women to have been awarded the George Cross for heroism and the only woman awarded the Medal for Gallantry in peacetime. The other three female George Cross recipients served with the Special Operations Executive A. Early Life Harrison was born on 24 May 1945, at the family home in Kingsdale Crescent, Bradford, West Riding of Yorkshire, to Lena and Alan Harrison. She was their second child, another daughter, Susan Elizabeth, having been born in 1941. Harrison attended Greystones School, Bradford. The family later moved to Scarborough, where Harrison attended Newby County Primary School. In 1955, her mother died. She passed her 11-plus and attended Scarborough Girls High School. In 1961, her father moved to Doncaster. Harrison stayed on at Scarborough to complete her O-levels before joining her father in the summer of 1961. She then attended Doncaster High School until Easter 1962. H. Career. After leaving school, Harrison worked at Martin's Bank from 1962 until 1964, then took a job as a nanny for a Swiss farmer in the canton of Neuchatel in order to improve her French. She later took another job as a nanny in San Francisco. While in San Francisco, she applied for a job as a flight attendant with British Overseas Airways Corporation Boak, and she joined Boak in May 1966. After completing her training, Harrison was assigned work on board Boak's Boeing 707 fleet. She moved to Emperor's Gate, Kensington, London, where she shared a flat with other Boak flight attendants and purchased a Ford Anglia car for use in getting to work at Heathrow Airport. She also joined Universal Ants, which provided staff to do odd jobs. One of her assignments was babysitting Jason Connery, son of actor Sean Connery. AC-83, while she enjoyed her job, long-haul flights with their several stopovers were exhausting, and she had told a friend she was considering quitting Boke. A-29, on 8 April 1968, Harrison was rostered at her own request to work Boke Flight 712 Whiskey Echo Long Haul to Sydney, Australia, via Zurich, Tel Aviv, Tehran, Bombay, now Mumbai, Singapore, and Perth. She told a colleague, that she had been invited to a wedding in Sydney, but it is possible that she wanted to see a Cantus pilot she had met some months before. A. 26, 29, 30. Death at her post. On 8 April 1968, Harrison, aged 22, was a flight attendant aboard Boke Flight 712 when it left Heathrow Airport at 16.27 BST, bound indirectly for Sydney. Her George Cross citation recites what happened almost immediately after takeoff. No, two engine of BOAC, Boeing 707 GR, we caught fire and subsequently fell from the aircraft, leaving a fierce fire burning at no room, two engine position. About two and a half minutes later, the aircraft made an emergency landing at the airport and the fire on the port wing intensified. Miss Harrison was one of the stewardesses in this aircraft, and the duties assigned to her in an emergency were to help the steward at the aft station to open the appropriate rear door and inflate the escape chute, and then to assist the passengers. Jurors. When the aircraft landed, Miss Harrison and the steward concerned opened the rear galley door and inflated the chute, which unfortunately became twisted on the way down so that the steward had to climb down it to straighten it before it could be used. Once out of the aircraft, he was unable to return, hence Miss Harrison was left alone to the task of shepherding passengers to the rear door and helping them out of the aircraft. She encouraged some passengers to jump from the machine and pushed out others. According to witnesses, after the escape chute had been burnt away, Harrison continued, to force passengers to safety by pushing them out the door, even as flames and smoke were licking around her face. A. 72, 74, 136. She then seemed to be preparing to jump, 
but instead turned back inside. A-76, 77, there was another explosion, and she was not seen alive again. A-131, her body was found with four others near the rear door. A-91, all had died from asphyxia. A-151, Antony Crossland, president of the Board of Trade, and the minister responsible for civil aviation later wrote of Harrison's lonely and courageous action and devotion to duty in the highest traditions of her calling. A. 139. In August 1969, Harrison became the only woman to receive the George Cross in peacetime and its youngest female recipient. It is now at British Airways Speedbird Centre, which is dedicated to the history of the crew and story of British Airways. Memorials The Barbara Jane Harrison G.C. Memorial Fund, set up in October 1969, raised £1,500 towards purchase of a computer for the National Hospital. H. 11, a plaque in memory of Harrison, was unveiled on 23 October 1970. A. Up for the Barbara Harrison Prize was established in 1968 by the Royal Air Force Institute of Aviation Medicine. It is awarded to the best student on a diploma in aviation medicine course whose first language is not English. The prize is now under the remit of the Department of Aviation Medicine at King's College, London. Since 2010, the Barbara Harrison Memorial Prize is awarded to the student of the diploma in aviation medicine course who has demonstrated commitment to others and determination to succeed through the course and in gaining the diploma. Also in 1970, a plaque memorial was unveiled in St. George's Interdenominational Chapel in Heathrow Airport dedicated to Harrison. A plaque remembering Harrison is on the churchyard wall of St. Lawrence's Church, Scalby, Scarborough. She is also commemorated with a memorial display in Bradford City Hall. Sources and further reading equals equals references equals equals equals